Welcome in to Pittsburgh Steelers Talk, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us in the fourth round to kick off day number three. The Steelers have found another wide receiver. This time, it's Calvin Austin III from Memphis. Austin, terrific in his time at Memphis. A former walk-on coming off a 2021 season where he had over 1,100 yards and eight touchdowns on 74 receptions. Also worth noting that Austin had eight rushes in his four-year career at Memphis and went for three touchdowns on those eight rushes, including a nice 69-yard touchdown run and an 83-yard touchdown run there at Memphis. So a versatile weapon, you would have to think, that he'll be involved in the return game as well with his speed. More on that in just a moment. Fast and quick. Very small, though. Standing at just 5'8", our Tom Downey describes him as an incredible athlete. Was a sprinter at Memphis as well with good punt return skills. Two touchdowns in 29 returns. Grade the Calvin Austin pick for me. What do you guys think? Here's your chance to tell us in the comment section. Type A, B, C, D, or F on how the Pittsburgh Steelers did in drafting their second receiver of this draft, Calvin Austin from Memphis. You'll get an ad break. Take advantage of it and tell us what you think the Steelers did here. A, B, C, D, or F on the pick. Here is the breakdown from NFL.com's Lance Zerline. He describes Austin as a productive playmaker with below average size but above average heart. Austin is below the acceptable size standards many teams have at wide receiver, but he is fearless, versatile, and fast. And I told you that he had a lot of speed, and the numbers don't lie on that either. A 4-3-2-40 time for Calvin Austin, as well as a shuttle time of 4.07 and a vertical jump of 39. Now, when you look at these numbers here from Austin that we mentioned of 74 catches and 1,100 yards and eight touchdowns, it's terrific. And a guy that stands at 5'8 and a former walk-on, you have to think that he's going to play with a bit of a chip on his shoulder, that he's had to prove himself Time and time again, and going in the fourth round here, not being a day one or day two guy, this is somebody that I think is going to play with an edge, and that fits the Steelers' mentality. And one of the things that we talked about with the previous pick of George Pickens in the second round with the Pittsburgh Steelers is that this is the strength of Kevin Colbert in the scouting department in Pittsburgh is finding those later receivers and developing them. They are the best in the National Football League when it comes to developing receivers in later rounds. We've seen it with Chase Claypool. We have seen it with Antonio Brown. The list goes on and on. Juju, just to name a few, as well as Deontay Johnson. We will show you the depth chart now for the Steelers. And Johnson and Claypool, your top two receivers. And you had Pickens as well as now adding Austin into the fold. What I wonder is, with these moves that you see, the Steelers adding to the receiver depth, is somebody out of the equation now? Will the Steelers make a move of some sorts, trading one of their receivers that you see listed here? Is there an odd man out? Or do the Steelers try to make things work with adding two receivers to the bunch? Now, I will note that Austin, I think at least as a rookie, is going to be a return specialist. I don't think that you see him in the wide receiver packages a whole lot right away, but that could change as the season goes on. But right now, I think Austin kind of fits your mold as a return guy first and then see where he goes as a receiver. But nonetheless, it begs the question, are the receivers trading a wide receiver? Here's your chance to chime in and tell us what you think in the comments section. Will they move on from one of their receivers on this roster? Type Y for yes, type in for no if you think the Steelers are trading away one of their wide receiver targets. Make sure and subscribe to Steelers Talk. We're talking Steelers all the time here on the channel. And if you subscribe, the best part about it is it's free. YouTube.com slash Steelers TV for all the latest Steelers news and info. And we'll be covering it throughout the offseason, all the way leading up to the start of the season. The best Steelers info 
free right here on the channel. Steelers Talk, subscribe today. Here are the picks for the Steelers so far. As you can see, they addressed offense primarily throughout these first four picks with Kenny Pickett, the number 20 pick out of Pittsburgh, George Pickens, wide receiver out of Georgia, DeMarvin Leal, the defensive lineman from Texas A&M in the third round, and now Calvin Austin the third with the fourth round pick out of Memphis there. So those are the four picks that we've seen from the Steelers at this point. And when you look at that wide receiver position, the Steelers now with this these new targets and a new quarterback, it is going to be very fascinating to look at how different this Steelers offense is, comparatively speaking, to what we've seen. New faces in a new place here in Pittsburgh with uh, these offensive targets that uh, I think you're going to see Pickens play pretty quickly. Austin, I think you see him in the return game right away, but I would say that it's going to probably take him a little bit longer before we see him among the receiving targets. The, you know, the, the size that he's going to be at, that 5'8 body frame with Calvin Austin, that's going to concern a lot of people. But for me, as a fourth-round pick, I think that's fine. You throw him in the slot and you win with speed. And he's got that speed. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about what the Steelers have done in this draft so far? Are you happy with the four selections that the Pittsburgh Steelers have made? Type Y for yes, type N for no if you are thrilled with these Steelers selections. If you're pissed off, which I don't know why you would be, go ahead and tell us why in the comments. Type in for no if that's the case. Calvin Austin, the fourth round selection for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And now they have three more picks to go as they'll be picking at 209 in the sixth round and then back-to-back -back seventh round picks at 226 and 242. That does it for Steelers Talk. Calvin Austin, the selection for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the fourth round out of Memphis, the second wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 2022 NFL Draft. Who do you guys want the Steelers to draft next with their remaining three picks? Here's your chance to weigh in and tell us what you think the Steelers should do with these last few selections as the Steelers wrap up the 2022 NFL Draft here on Day 3.